All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekar Kodash. Secondly, I want to give double honors to our apostles and our elders who had great millstones for teaching us this truth and who rule well. And Shalom, I'm to the humble, hopeful, fearful elect of you brothers across the four corners of this earth, pushing this word with all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom, all right, it's your brother Kabad from GMS Heavenly Honor 144. Just coming back with a quick video to the power and the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. And Lord willing, this video is edifying and good nourishment to the house of David. Shalom. All right, and just getting into it, we're going to open up with uh, the times that we're approaching, the times that we're in right now, all times leading into uh, the time of Jacob's trouble, okay, because the RFID chip is on the scene. All right, you have uh, Esau out here hitting people with the jab. All right, you have uproars of the people, you know, the, the, uh, the, uh, prices of, of food, gas, everything is going up. And inflation is happening right in front of your face, man. Okay? And um, pretty much this, this is the time of, uh, oh, yeah, not, not to mention martial laws being implemented. You know, you have uh, uh, certain cities, certain uh, areas of the world are still under lo uh, martial lockdown. And all, all roads is leading to that to happen right here in America. Okay? Uh, coming soon. But what does that mean? That means there's what? We're going to get our first scripture. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7, straight to the point. It says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Okay, the scripture says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. All right, so the time that we're approaching, Jacob's trouble, all right, when, when you're going to have uh, our people... When you're going to have uh, Esau, the devil, trying to implement people being uh, being stamped with that horse stamp, uh, uh, that MOB stamp, all right? It, this time that we're approaching this uh, Jacob's trouble is going to be uh, slavery and uh, 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 times of, of, that, of that nature, all right? Times that we went through like that, the civil rights movement, all that is going to be considered uh, 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 light compared to the times that we're entering right now with the times of Jacob's trouble. And it's like that too because you have uh, the Lord's chosen people, you so-called uh, uh, Hispanics, uh, Native Americans, Negroes, you know, the tri tribes of Israel, you're uh, completely oblivious to the fact that the Lord is pretty much on the scene and the Lord is stretching out his hands pursuing what the Proverbs chapter one, pretty much calling for, uh, for, for, the, the, for calling and showing himself uh, to be to be the savior for Israel, but yet our people are still refusing. Our people are still uh, prescribed to the ways of this world. All right, they're still uh, trusting in Esau. All right, they're not looking to the Holy One, as the Scriptures say. And approaching these times, this is what you're going to need. You're going to need the the, the the Spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, the name uh, uh, God <coughs> and that name Jesus. Those are uh, ignorant names that you've learned out of ignorance from your um, from your oppressor Esau, those names are not going to save you. Those names have no power behind them. And the times that we're approaching, because as we read in the scripture, it says a time like no other. All right? That meaning that there, there, there can be no time in history that's going to be compared to the times that we're, that, that we're about to approach. All right? And, and we can see that now. All right? Look around. An, an adulterous generation. All right? Pretty much the so-called kingdom is divided, all right? You know, so how can it be a kingdom when you have people against one another, you know? And so many other examples, man, where you can already see that uh, we're approaching the times of Jacob's trouble. And the scripture alludes to say, and it, it, of course, would it be in the times of Jacob's trouble, but he will be saved out of it. And who is that he? That he represents the elect, man. The hopeful, humble, fearful elect and the one-third, man. The ones that will be saved out of it, all right? Because when all hell breaks loose, all right? And, and as we can already see, all hell is already breaking loose, man, all right? We got a quick article I want to get into, man. I'm just going to read the uh, headline because this is a part of these uh, 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 leading up to Jacob's trouble, man. We already have the RFID chip, all right? You already have Esau with his little sword. Uh, jabbing people, all right, making certain things mandatory, all right, being a physician of lies, all right, uh, distracting people in the midst of the, of the scandemic, 
You still have people out here shopping, so they're dropping. You still have Esau out here giving people uh, money, loans, all right, going into that uh, those gifts that you're receiving that's destroying your minds, keeping your minds everywhere else but on the Heavenly Father. All right, this is, um. let me get this article right quick, man, because right here it says Joe Biden to meet with the Russian leader, uh, what, uh, Putin, man, Vladimir Putin on June 16th in Switzerland. All right, and uh, here it is. It, it, this article gets into, you know, Joe and Putin having a um, a face-to-face -face meeting, man. All right, and the scripture warns us about that, and uh, and, I'm, and I'm sure many brothers, the first scripture that comes in your mind because the way that they're dressing this meeting up as if it's going to be uh, a peace and safety meeting, letting bygones be bygones. But this is this this is uh, a part of going into Jacob's trouble, man, because one thing about America, what they're known for is breaking all their bonds and their treaties, man. All right? And and this is just another sign and indication that the end is nearer than, than we believe, man. Salvation is nearer than we believe, pursuing the Romans 13 and 11. But um, as I said, I can, Baba Kasha, read this at your discretion. But uh, just, just a, uh, a few quick uh, reading through it. It says, Joe, Joe Biden will meet with Russian President Vladimir Putin in Switzerland on June 16th, a high-stakes summit amid escalating tensions between Moscow and Washington, okay? It says high-escalating tensions between these uh, th two countries. And if you're watching the news, you already know uh, Russia is that great bear, man, that the scriptures speak about, man. All right, American America is that uh, harlot that hasn't, been, that hasn't been touched, man. All right, so all this peace and safety is just going to lead right into what Jacob's trouble, man? A time like no other, man, because these devils uh, don't don't want to have peace with one another. They want to present the illusion that they're having peace, you know, as as they both, you know, have have sat down and <laughs> crafted the council of how to destroy us again, the nation, and knowing who we are. All right, and, and you can already see our people trusting and not even considering this. You know, not even th this is not even going to be on Jake's psyche, man. Jake's going to be too busy worrying about who's in the NBA Finals, uh, whose rap album's coming out, you know, who's, um, you know, anything that's abominable, man, anything that, that's not uh, 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 dealing with prophecy. But Rakhtai Abashim Ashai to the for our apostles and our elders and the spirit of truth and being on, on, on sincere uh, men and sincere brothers, man, to prophesy, man, and to warn the people, man, because, hey, man, the blood is not going to be on on our hands, man. Abarash is out with those men, but uh, let's get um, let's get uh, First Thessalonians, <coughs> the book of First Thessalonians, chapter five, verse three, because these devils are going to give you that illusion that peace and safety is going to be on the scene, man. And then you're going to have people being comfortable, you know, thinking that our old creepy Joe was the one that um, uh, uh, uh lifts their burden. All right, and once again, if you're trusting in Creepy Joe to make everything so-called peaceful, then that means that you're not trusting in the Heavenly Father, man. You're not trusting in Yahweh Shai, all right, because th no peace is coming to this place, man. Only thing coming to this place is uh, death and destruction. Thus so says the scriptures, man. That's the only place that this place is going to be cleansed, and that's the only way you're going to get peace there, all right? You're going to have to, uh, this place has to burn, you know, but, uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3, it, it says, For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destructive cometh upon them, as travaileth upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Okay? All right? Because these devils are going to paint the illusion that peace and safety is going to come. And the scriptures speak about it as a woman travaileth, because this is going to be a part uh, leading up to Jacob's trouble, man. It's, it's sort of like um, laborous pains, man. All right, so this is going to be uh, uh, leading up to those uh, because before the baby is born, you know, you go through those contractions, man. See, right now, uh, we, uh, America's going through those contractions. The world's going through these contractions, man. But well, hey, what what eventually happens, man? That baby is is is, is born. So this 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 war, all right, all hell is going to is going to pop off. Jacob's trouble is going to is going to uh, pop off, man. But as the scripture says in Jeremiah thirty-seven, but he which represents the elect, going to be saved out of it. Abba Radha 
with those men that's going to be saved out of this this trouble of, of this time that's, that's going to be like no other man all right and and we're not going to be a part of that uh the, the simple that are going to be uh believing that there's going to be some sort of peace and safety man all right because the scripture said then then uh your destructions come upon them man all right and they shall not escape man so there's not there's not going to be any peace and safety for you people to so-called cling on to I think there's going to be some type of escape, man. But you, but but one thing about our people, man, when all hell is breaking loose, you know, and and, and when and when this all this starts to the, the pop off, all right, because prophecy is already popping off. You have our people in the mind frame. Oh, I can't wait for the Lord to come back, and and it's all, and the Lord on his way back, you know, and all, all that's true, all right. Because then when the what Romans chapter ten, our people having a zeal, not according to knowledge, all right. But what is it going to be for you, the ones that do know, man? All right? Because you have a, 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 a large population of Jake, of, of, of you Israelites, that are um, pretty much in that spirit of, uh, you know, that woe is me spirit. You know, you believe in the Lord. All right? Like this idiot Crunchy Black was saying uh, uh, a few weeks ago, he had a little interview. You know, if you know who Crunchy Black is, he was a rapper with, with the group 3-6 Mafia, but... Long story short, he was saying about how he seen, how he made deals with the devil, et cetera, et cetera. But then he says in the same breath that he's rolling with the Lord, that he's 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 a servant of the Lord, and he's rolling with the Lord, all right? But through your actions and through your ways, where have you shown that you're rolling with the Lord, all right? And that's a question that you got to uh, pose to not only a, a, a person like Crunchy Black, but to the two-thirds of our people, man, all right? That's why the scriptures say, uh, examine yourself daily, whether you be in the faith, man. All right? Daily, you're supposed to be asking yourself, are you doing things that are pleasing to Heavenly Father? All right? And, um, hell, and, and, and we can never do enough, man. The scriptures tell about, talk about praying without ceasing. All right? Pretty much praying nonstop, man. So if you're praying without ceasing, praying nonstop, then that means we're, we, that we're never doing enough, man. All right? But, uh, not to get too far off subject, let's uh, read this one more time. I'm going to jump to the next script. This is our first Thessalonians chapter 5 and 3. It says, For when they shall set peace and safety, then sudden destruction come upon them as travaileth upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. All right? So there's not going to be any escaping or um, running <laughs> from uh, the destruction in the, in the, of the Lord on that day, man. All right? And in that hour. All right, and in that time that we're approaching, man, this is why this is so vital about you getting yourself in order now. All right, the scriptures say, seek the Lord while he is near. In Isaiah 55, this is the time to be seeking the Lord, man. All right, uh, putting that time in to work on your uh, work on your relationship with the Lord, man, having that fear of the Lord and correcting yourself and getting yourself in order. Okay, this is the book of, uh, we have Amos, chapter 5. Verse 18, straight to the point, it says, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord, Yahweh Shai. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, is darkness and not light. Okay? So that the scripture starts off said, uh, Woe, which means death and destruction to you that desire the day of the Lord. All right? And then it says, To what end is it for you? All right? To the ones that, uh, you know, that, that pretty much are honoring the Lord with your lips, but your work with your works, you're not doing anything, man. Because when the Lord comes back on the scene, man, He's not gonna just uh, be here to uh, to take everyone with Him, man. The Lord wants to know that He has, uh, as the scriptures say, many are called, few are chosen. All right, so that that means that everybody's not gonna make it, man. All right, everybody's not gonna make it, man. And we're gonna land back to that one with what? Let's get this one. This uh, the bad that one up. This is the book of. Um, Second Peter chapter, this is the book of First Peter, chapter four, verse seventeen, and it says, "For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh, and if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh? All right, and if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? All right, now that scripture say, if the righteous scarcely be saved okay and that righteous represents the one that's going to be saved out of jacob's trouble man 
And within that, the Lord said that they're going to scarcely be saved, man. So it's not going to be a whole heap of people that's going to be saved, man. All right? And with that, the Lord is looking within that. And once again, many called, few chosen. All right? The ones that, that Abarada Zah, the general apostles and our elders, the seer brothers, Abarada Zah, we're those men that's going to scarcely be saved, man. All right? But, but, but as you go back to Amos 5 and 18, the scripture said, Woe to them that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you, man? Are you going to be a part of those uh, of those holy conversations, the ones that the Lord is going to, is going to find acceptance or are you going to be a part of the ones that the lord denies man all right that's why it's so important to be getting uh getting yourself in order man because the lord is not about you know uh lip service man all right let's get a quick uh precept what's that matthew chapter five uh let's get that right quick this is the book of uh, matthew chapter five uh, verse 8, straight to the point, it says, uh, Shalak, this is Matthew uh, 15, or even the rest of it, in case it says 5 and 8. Matthew chapter 15, verse 8, and it says, This people, and it's the words of Yahweh Shai Mashiach speaking, it says, This people draw, draw nay unto me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. All right? Their minds, their lahab, the, the Lord is saying, You people honor them with your lips, all right? In your mouth. Because, you know, Jake talk a, a, a good talk game, man. Oh, I love the Lord. Oh, I can't wait for the Lord to come back. But, hey, to what end of it is it for you, man? All right? Because the Lord said, what? Their hearts is far from him, man. Because two-thirds of people, their minds ain't on the Lord, man. All right? They're not looking uh, at, for, for the, the prophets. They're not looking at, at the prophecy. They're looking at, into prosperity, man. They're not trusting in the Lord. They're trusting in Creepy Joe, man. All right? So with that being said, you're trusting in all these PPP loans and, and this money and this system, and, and you're not leaning and trusting in the Lord. The scriptures tell you in Psalms 118 and 8, it says, better trust in the Lord and put your confidence in man. And it's sad to say that a hey, two-thirds of our people have their confidence in men more than they have in the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, man. And that, that goes perfectly, man, because you, that, that, that you people that draw close to the Lord with your lips and with your mouth, but in your ways, you're not doing anything to please the Heavenly Father. That's why the, that's why the Lord said what? But your heart is far from me, man. All right? Um, and what? In Romans 10, what? Let's get that one as a quick precept as well, too. This is Romans chapter 10, verse uh, 2. It says, uh, Romans 10 to 2, For I bear them record that they have a zeal of Yahweh, but not according to knowledge. For they being ignorant of Yahweh's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves into the righteousness of Yahweh, man. All right? So you niggas that's honoring the Lord with your lips, all right, but your heart's far from him, man. You're doing your own thing, man. All right? Establishing your own righteousness, man. And and, and don't even see that, that, that the Lord is not honoring in that, man. He's not even acknowledging that, man. All right? Another quick one, Hosea chapter, uh, the book of Hosea. Chapter 4, verse 6. I came already know. Hosea 4 and 6, it says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. All right? Going back to hey, honoring the Lord with your lips and your mouth. But hey, to, to do the ways of the Lord, man, you people don't want to do it, man. All right? People are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, man. All right, you tell people all day, the Lord uh, doesn't want you celebrating these holidays. They have a problem with it. The Lord doesn't want you eating these abominable foods. They have a problem with it. You know, you can show them in the Old Testament and, and the New Testament how the New Testament uh, pretty much uh, 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 backs up, <laughs> you know, the Old Testament. So there, there was never a time when the laws were done away with, but people still have a problem with that, man. All right, going back to establishing their own righteousness and not uh, 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 submitting to the ways of the Lord, man. All right, trimming their ways is so-called sheep's uh, love, man. All right, but the Lord promises us in what Isaiah 32 and 6 that what wisdom and knowledge is going to be the stability of, of our times, man. So without the uh, correct uh, the correct doctrine and wisdom and knowledge, what's going to happen, man? You're going to be destroyed in that time, man, the time of Jacob's trouble, man. 
All right, only the elect is going to be saved out of it. The ones that that sincerely believe, man. All right, let me get a, a, a quick precept right quick. All right, this is uh, Baruch 4 and 28, man, because the scriptures get tell you about, you know, it was our mind to go astray, man. But right now, the times that we're in, all right, and we should be in the time of seeking the Lord ten times more. If you if you sincerely love the Lord the way you say you do love the Lord and you're and, and you're um adamant about improving your relationship with the Lord, you should be looking into um all the things that pleases the Lord, all the things that make the Lord upset, man. You should be looking into, you know, uh the steps that the Lord's only begotten son, Yahweh Shai took, man. All right? And to be like him, man. Because that's in inevitably that's the that's the goal, man. Following the steps of the Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, man. He was the only perfect one to, to walk amongst this defiled earth, man. All right, so that's what we strive to be like, man. All right, we strive to be like Yahweh Shai Mashiach, man, because that's the only way to the Father, man, through the Son. All right, this is Baruch four and twenty eight. It says, "For it was your mind to go astray from Yahweh, so be in return, seek him, seek him ten times more." All right, because right now we're in the uh, the awakening period. So being returned to the Lord, and then not to mention the Lord had, had set up, you know, Esau, you know, set up the basis of all men. And with all this scandemic going on, man, you have nothing, had, had, have had nothing but ample time to seek the Lord adamantly. But what has Esau been doing, man? Uh, continuing to try to pull that veil over the, the Israelites' eyes by giving them money, stimulus checks, loans, you know, entertainment. You know, to try to, so they won't be seeking the Lord adamantly, man. But the Lord is, the Lord already has his elect, you know. He, he's already had them since, um, since the womb, man. Ordained them since the womb. But doing uh, Jeremiah 1 and 5, Abba Rashazah, you know, our apostles and our elders down to their brothers. And we're those men, okay. So this is uh, Baruch 4 and 28. And once again, it says, for it was your mind to go astray from Yahweh. So being returned, seek him ten times more. All right. Seek the Lord ten times or more, man. Put that work in, man. All right? Tarry not returning to the Lord, man. Because when you're tarrying, pursuing the what, Sirach 5 and 7, you're going to be destroyed while you're tarrying, man. So it's very important and it's very vital to, uh, to, 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 to find your apostles and the elders. All right? Scriptures speak about um, your eyes shall see your teachers, man. And when you see your teachers, man, no different from whenever um, Jake, when you're in the world, you want to mimic your favorite basketball player, your favorite rapper. Hey, uh, our apostles and our elders are set up for um, to, to be our, our instructors, instruction, our instructors on, um, on 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 pretty much perfecting the ex excellency in uh in the work that we do, you know, and, and staying on fire. All right, but um, I got one precept and one last one. I'm gonna close with this one about studying to show yourself approved because when the Lord comes back on the scene, that's so vital, man. Because no no difference from when you people um get cars or apply for credit or want some type of acceptance what do you, you have to go through a, a process or where they put you on hold for a second so they can look at your background and run your credit so you can be approved all right so how much more the lord the lord is going to run your credit too man all right he the lord is the is the ultimate is the ultimate um <laughs> the ultimate vouch man all right yahweh Shah is the ultimate vouch man so if yahweh Shah can't vouch for you man and you're going to destroy you man he, he ain't even going to he ain't gonna take your uh, resume up to Yahweh, man. All right, but this is Second uh, Timothy two and fifteen. It says, "Study to show thyself approved unto Yahweh, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth." Okay, dividing the word of truth, not taking away, not adding, but dividing the word of truth. All right, because the word is already uh, perfect. So all the Lord asks us to do is divide it and, and freely give, man. Share it, man. All right? Don't take away. Don't add from the word. All right? But divide it, uh, the truth, uh, uh, rightfully, man. Righteously. All right? So, this is a quick video, man. Getting into, you know, time that we're approaching Jacob's trouble. Right? And uh, the importance of seeking the Lord ten times more. Coming back to the Heavenly Father. Studying to make sure that, that your election... And your, and, and your calling is sure, all right, because as, as, we, as we said before, man, many are called, few are chosen, and you definitely want to be a part of that chosen, 
when our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shammashiach, returns to the scene. All right, so with that, I'm going to close by saying, Call and I am Lah, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, and call Kodash. Secondly, double honors to our apostles and our elders. They had a great millstone for teaching us this truth and rule well. And Shalom to the humble, hopeful, fearful elect, you brothers across the four corners of this earth, preaching this word with our righteousness and sincerity. Shalom.